Hi! While it certainly is a challenge to find kitchen appliances that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source to point you in the direction of the brands you can trust. Let this channel be that source. In preparing this video countdown of the top models, the team researched literally dozens of tools, ranking each one based on its performance, its affordability, and the reliability of its manufacturer, and also read real-life consumers' opinions about each product. Let's see which are the best models in this year. Hi, I'm Kara for Hamilton Beach, and this is the Removable Grid Flip Belgian Waffle Maker. Don't you just love Belgian waffles covered with butter and maple syrup? This waffle maker gives you perfect, thick, fluffy waffles every time. It's a beautiful European-style waffle maker, right down to its brushed stainless steel housing and clean, simple control panel. The power on and ready to cook indicator lights tell you exactly when to add batter. Then just close down the cover, flip it, and let it do the work. The adjustable browning control lets you make waffles that are crispy on the outside, but light and fluffy on the inside. The grids detach for easy cleanup, and there's a removable drip tray under the housing, so everything stays neat and tidy. The cool touch handle folds away for easy storage. Now that's good thinking. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Double Belgian Waffle Maker. So it's a lot of fun to use. The great thing about it is it cooks two large Belgian waffles at the same time and two very deep pocketed waffles, so they're about one inch deep. Um, the unit it has 1,400 watts of power, so it's very powerful. Um, you just lift up the lid. You can put your batter right in the middle here. You close it. There's a little turn 
uh, tells you which way to turn it. You turn it 180 degrees. You lift the other side up. Then you're going to put your batter here, close it, and turn it again. And the reason you do that is it helps distribute the batter around the um, both of the sets of plates for the Belgian waffle maker. So it's beautifully designed, it's round, um, it's made out of stainless steel. There's your indicator lights in the front here and then also on the bottom. And that will turn green when it's ready to be used. And then what will happen is once you put the batter in, it will go off and then it'll go back on when your waffle is done. And the unit also will be three times letting you know it's ready to use and your a waffle has been completely cooked. In the front here, this is your on-off switch. You can see I have it on right now, so it's preheating. Um, and also this is your shade control. It goes from one, which is very light, all the way to six. I usually like to cook it on four or five. So it gives it a nice, really uh, nice, even uh, doneness. The unit also has on the bottom a cord wrap so you can store your cord really easy. And the great thing about it is if you're um, you know, making waffles for family, you can cook two at a time, you can split them in half and you can feed four people almost um, immediately. It also cooks very, very quickly. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a classic Belgian waffle batter and we're gonna bake some waffles. So the first thing you're going to do is this is our flour. We're gonna add our salt to the flour and we're just gonna um, incorporate it just very quickly. And then what we're gonna do is in this bowl here, I already um, started the yeast portion. So I put the yeast, half of the water and a pinch of sugar into this bowl and you're supposed to let it sit between five and 10 minutes, but you can see it's very um, fluffy now. So to that, we're going to add the, um, some of our liquid ingredients. First, the three egg yolks, one egg white, the sugar, this happens to be organic. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, incorporate that. So it's nicely incorporated. And then to this liquid batter, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients, which is the rest of the water, the butter, milk, just going to put this aside, vanilla, and then a little bit of um, oil. So just mix that thoroughly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate our dry ingredients to the liquid. So you're going to incorporate this until it is um, smooth. Then after we've incorporated all the dry ingredients, which I'm almost finished, we're going to fold in um, some egg whites. And the egg whites were already um, beaten until about a stiff peak. So I'm just going to add that and then incorporate it by folding. So just fold that. Just turn the bowl and be, you know, gentle. The egg whites will add um, a really nice texture and also a lightness to your waffles. So one thing I forgot to mention also is that we have a little batter cup that you're going to use and that's perfect um, because it, it will give you the exact amount of batter that you need to add to um, each of the, the waffle plates. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I could probably do a little more, but first thing we're going to do when we open the waffle maker is we're going to season the plates with just a little bit of oil. Um, we just recommend that you do that. It helps to um, for the nonstick plates to uh, release the waffle very easily when you're done cooking it. 
So, scoop up some of the batter. Add it to the plate. I'm going to close it, turn it, open the other side. Once again, we're going to season this side too. Let's not forget that. You can use any type of silicone brush that works really great. Or if you have a pastry brush, just be careful with a um, pastry brush. If it's nylon, you can um, sometimes some of the little bristles will get stuck to the waffle plates. So better to use the silicone one. Okay. Let's close it again and turn. And now what we're gonna do is let it bake, and when we come back, I'm gonna serve it up for you. So let's check on our waffle. I could have definitely put more batter in, that's for sure. And if this is a little too light for your liking, you can easily um, put it on a little bit higher. I like it usually a little bit darker than that. Oh, I guess I really get, came up with the case of the shorts here. Whoops, forgot to wait till that one was done. So there you have it. Let's make it um, look a little more appealing. You can use fresh fruit. You can use um, a nice thing to do too is to um, do maybe like a little ice cream, a whipped cream, a whipped topping, or some syrup and butter. Add a little coconut, make it look really nice. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Double Belgian Waffle Maker. The Presto Flipside Belgian Waffle Maker. To bake extra thick Belgian style waffles using a restaurant style rotating design, preheat until the red light goes out. Pour a cup of batter into the waffle grid and set the digital timer for four minutes. Close the cover and rotate 180 degrees to spread the batter evenly across the grids. Make delicious waffles from packaged mixes or from scratch using the included recipes for classic, whole grain, pecan and more. When the baking time is complete, open the cover and you're ready to enjoy a delicious waffle. Non-stick grids assure the waffle removes easily. The big 7-inch waffle divides into four easy-to-cut sections. The brushed stainless steel exterior provides both beauty and durability. And the non-stick grids simply wipe clean. Storage is easy too. Just rotate to the vertical position and flip the storage latch to lock upright for space-saving convenience. Fabulous waffles and a fabulous storage solution. The Flipside Belgian Waffle Maker from Presto.